If you've watched my channel before, I think it's no surprise to find out that the From Software games are among my favorite games ever created. Miyazaki and the team at From Software are geniuses when it comes to crafting interesting worlds and amazing combat systems that make you feel on the edge of your seat the entire time that you're playing in the most satisfying way possible. So today I want to come on here and give my opinion on the Soulsborne games and my personal ranking for them based on intrigue, overall satisfaction, and just the fun I had along the way. Now this will be including all of the Soulsborne games, including Sekiro, and I will be going off the most up-to-date remake of a game, such as Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, Dark Souls Remastered, and the Demon Souls PS5 remake. So I will not be including any of the original versions of those games. And I don't want to waste any time, let's get right into the list. Let me go ahead and say this right off the bat. I don't think that because a game is low on this list that it is bad by any means, and Demon Souls is a perfect example of that. I do totally understand that this game was the first, and because it was the first, it's inherently going to be flawed in comparison to the newer games. And naturally, the company is going to see mistakes they made in the first game and improve on that in the second game, which is why Dark Souls 1 improved on several of the aspects that made Demon Souls a little bit lackluster. And while I don't think Demon Souls is a bad game whatsoever, I just didn't like it near as much as the other games on this list. I have a lot of complaints about this game, and I'm not going to be talking about the healing system and all the other things everybody else complains about. My first issue with this game is how it punishes you for invading other people. PvP is one of my favorite things about the Souls games, and when you punish a player for doing that, it really makes me not like the game. And also, can we talk about how the map is set up in this game? Like 99% of this game is set in narrow corridors where you barely have room to swing a sword horizontally. And for me that was using a strength build in the Dragon Bone Smasher for most of the game, I almost always had to use it in the one hand overhead swing because my sword would always hit the wall. As an adventure, Demon's Souls was a great one time experience. This game has almost no replayability because every time you play the game, it's gonna be the exact same thing. There are not near as many items in this game as there are in the other games, so your builds are very restricted. For each build type, there's gonna be one weapon that is extremely overpowered compared to all the others. But I don't wanna to spend too much time on this. Demon's Souls really is a good game, and it's a great one-time experience, like I said, so I would definitely recommend everybody play it. I just didn't think it was as good as the other games on this list, which is why I have it at number six, and let's move on to the next one. For that is your fate, the fate of the cursed. Now, if I'm being totally honest with you guys, I almost put this game a lot higher on this list. But upon getting this footage for the game, I realized why I really shouldn't. Because while I really love Dark Souls 2, the combat is just not there. Now, aside from the slow combat, I really love this game. There's a lot of things that I think really make Dark Souls 2 special that a lot of fans tend to overlook. I really, really love the setting of this game. Drangleic is probably the kingdom I most enjoy coming back to in these games. The world just feels lived in and real and it's so interesting to see how the people of this world deal with the curse and don't get me wrong I like kind of like the psychopathic nature of the characters in the other Souls games but it's almost a breath of fresh air to see the characters in Dark Souls 2 interact in such a genuine way and this game just has so much replayability I feel like it's a different experience every single time I go through this game and the PvP in this game is so solid too it's so much fun and there's so many different builds to try that it's always a fresh experience you never really really know what you're going to run into with somebody. If I'm being honest, there's never really a point in this game that I feel like I had a bad experience and I don't want to go through it ever again. Aside from maybe the frigid outskirts, but you know, that's optional. I know this isn't the common consensus, but I really love Dark Souls 2 and I really almost put it above the next selection on this list and I might get a lot of hate for this, but you'll see what it is. Out of all the Dark Souls games, Dark Souls 3 might be the one that gets the most love from fans. This game is amazing and no one can deny it. The combat is awesome, the bosses are spectacular, and the settings are magnificent. But the one thing that sets this game apart from the others in my opinion is how great the PvP was. It's always a joy to go back and do some invasions in the Pontiff Sullivan area because you never know how the experience is going to go. There's so much wild and awesome experiences I've had playing PvP in this game and I can't sing its praises 
games is enough, but it's completely plagued by lag in gank squads. It's almost a dime a dozen to get a good invasion nowadays, but when you do get one, it's awesome. Now, you may remember the statement I said about almost putting Dark Souls 2 above Dark Souls 3. Now let me explain. I love going back and playing through Dark Souls 2, but the story in Dark Souls 3 always feels like a chore to me. I do not enjoy going back and replaying this game. And honestly, I can't exactly tell you what it is that makes me feel that way. I really don't like the first half of this game up until about Lothric Castle. And like I said, I can't tell you exactly what it is. It's just not that fun to me. But I couldn't in good faith put Dark Souls 2 above it simply because the mechanics mechanics are all throughout the game, and the mechanics in Dark Souls 3 are phenomenal. So that's why I put Dark Souls 3 in my number 4 spot, and let's move on to number 3. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Bloodborne is one of the coolest games I have ever played in my life. The mystique and atmosphere of this game completely sucked me in from the beginning, and I was completely addicted to the combat system right after killing the first boss. There was never a moment in this game that felt slow to me or not perfectly done. Playing through this game on the channel with you guys for the first time blind was an absolute blast start to finish, and as soon as I finished my first playthrough, I immediately wanted to hop back in and play it again. My only complaint for this game game is that the build system is very convoluted and weird and I still don't understand it even on my second playthrough. I know there's some really creative things you can do with it, but I feel like if I didn't have you guys to kind of guide me through how to improve my build and do better damage, then I would have really struggled with the end game. Bloodborne is just so unique and special and this game was a complete 10 out of 10 for me. So fingers crossed that we get that Bloodborne 2 sometime down the line. Sekiro was one of those rare experiences in gaming that was a complete blast and the most fun I've ever had playing a new game for the first time. It's almost impossible to describe how good this game was in a blind experience. I have absolutely no complaints about this game, and I really did love every single second of it. It was a completely new take from From Software, really differentiating itself from the standard Dark Souls formula. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like it for that, and they think it's repetitive because of the deflecting system, but in my mind, it's the most fun system we've ever had in a From Software game. And I was completely hooked on the story start to finish. I know like a lot of people don't like the story, and they feel like From Software should have stuck with that ambiguous, obtuse storytelling that they do in their other games, but I really liked what they did in Sekiro. I thought it was a really fresh take and it allowed me to focus more on the combat and the fights in the game and enjoy that more because I wasn't trying to wrap my mind around something that I couldn't fully understand. And I still hop on Sekiro all the time just to play it because it's so much fun, even if it is a single player game and I'm not going to be getting anything new for my efforts. It's just a fun game. And I know you all can predict what's up next, so let's go ahead and get into it. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. I can't think of another game that I've ever played that affected me the way Dark Souls did. The first time I killed the Taurus Demon after being stuck on there for weeks and weeks and weeks created a feeling in me that I'd never felt before. It was a feeling of sheer accomplishment, of finally overcoming an obstacle that had held me back for so long out of my own sheer willpower and not giving up. And when I stepped into Darkroot Garden for the first time, I realized I was in a world that was bigger than me as the player. It was really something special. Dark Souls 1 is the game that started started at all, that created this amazing franchise that we have today, and in my mind, it's the one that did it the best. The lore is astonishing, the gameplay is addicting, and the world design is impeccable. I've played this game so many times, I've basically memorized every single item placement in the game, and I still feel like I've only scratched the surface. I could talk about this game forever and never get tired of it, because I feel that it's so much more than a game. I feel like Dark Souls really is a work of art, and because of that special place it holds in my heart, I feel like the other games can never compare to just how good Dark Souls 1 is, which is why it's my number one game for my favorite From Software and Soulsborne game. But guys, that's just my opinion. Feel free to disagree, and if you do, let me know down in the comments what your ranking of the Soulsborne games would be. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you in the next one.